Brown's offense, no matter who is at quarterback, is going to go through that guy right there, running back Nick Chubb. Last year, finished second in the NFL in rushing, 1,259 yards, eight scores, his second highest rushing total of his career. Of course, back in 2019, just shy of 1,500. Had 20 receptions last year, probably going to be used a little bit more in the passing game, uh, depending on who the quarterback is. Uh, going into 2022, plus 850 to lead the league in rush yards. Caesars has his total set at 1150 and a hook. And at training camp today, he sat down to speak with our Josina Anderson. So we are with Browns running back Nick Chubb. I appreciate you joining us. Hey, thanks for having me. So this is now you entering your fifth year into the system, third under Kevin Stefanski. I was wondering if you can just kind of describe some of the similarities and yet distinctions with Deshaun Watson and Jacoby uh, Brissett, obviously two new quarterbacks for you in terms of how the offenses run with them and your feel behind them. Yeah, I think those two have done a great job of coming in um, so fast and kind of learning every, the whole offense. They're, they're doing a great job of leading us and directing us in the right way. They know the playbook. Um, they make amazing plays. They're great quarterbacks who have been doing it for a long time. Yeah, I mean, I think just uh, overall, just a great, a great vibe with those two, and uh, it's um, ready to get things rolling. But you know, we're not here at practice, and we don't have that eye level that you have, right? Mm -hmm. So just give us a little bit more detail as far as the distinctions for the feel for you as a running back behind them, or just what you see in terms of how they're operating in offense. <clears throat> I think just overall, I mean, those who have been, been such, uh, such a threat throwing the ball, it opened things up for us. I mean, practice, we really haven't done much, so I really can't give you much. I mean, we haven't really practiced that, you know, that hard yet. But when it comes, I'm sure I'll see uh, the big difference in those guys and how they're able to open the field to make it easier for us to run the ball. Can you describe, even in Deshaun Watson's time here, what you've observed about him in terms of how he's taken the team into his own that maybe the public doesn't know or see? Yeah, I mean, he's just a great guy. I mean, um, he's cool to be around. The team loves him. He, he doesn't, you know, force uh, the friendship in any way. He just, he's himself, and we appreciate that from him. And, you know, he comes on the field, and he's just a natural leader. I mean, um, the plays he makes, um, the ways he, you know, carries himself, I mean, he's a great person to be around. And maybe you can give us an example of that, you know, in terms of how he's taking his time, even with you. Mm -hmm. Take his time to. Just in terms of getting y'all getting to know each other. Oh, I mean, for one, the Bahamas trip, I mean, that, that was a great opportunity for us to get to know each other and get to know him. For him to do that for us, um, you know, it says a lot about who he is and uh, the person he is, and we all appreciate that. And just overall, I mean, he's a good a good teammate. I mean, he's always texting us um, <laughs> shows he watches. Oh, really? Like what kind of show? I forgot what it was. I, I didn't. I didn't check it out. But he does a lot. He like he'll put a uh, yeah. I know, right? He'll, he'll he'll like put a movie or a show in a group message and tell us to check it out. He'll put songs in there, and tell us to check it out, just stuff like that. Oh, I'm sure it includes Renaissance from Beyonce that just dropped. <laughs> I haven't heard it yet. You haven't heard it yet. So, but how do you just uh, kind of describe how the impact of the looming decision has maybe impacted the team? The uh, Associated Press reporting this morning that no decision is coming today. So, how do you feel like the looming decision has maybe impacted the team? or what do you observe about the scrutiny on him that maybe you see has impacted him? Uh, I don't think it impacted any of us. I know if, as a team, we, we're not really worried about it at all. We're just taking it day by day. And, you know, he's still able to practice, so we're still getting better. So that, that hasn't stopped anything. I think for him, I mean, he, he's handling it well. I know it's a lot of pressure, probably a lot of stress, just with not knowing what's going to happen. But uh, he's still, he's, he's a professional. You can't even tell. So I noticed now focusing on you as far as your utilization in the offense, that's your highest utilization as a receiving running back happened in 2019 under Freddie Kitchens, 36 receptions, uh, 49 targets for 278 receiving yards. I'm curious, what do you anticipate in terms of more of that utilization this season, particularly with, you know, just the newer composition of the wide receivers in this offense this year and where you could be helpful in that in that gap? Yeah, I'm not sure at all. It's not really a question for me. You know, I'm able to do it. When Too it was, specific right now? Yeah, I, that's way down the line. Okay. <laughs> nah, but for right now, I mean, I'm able to, you know, you know, uh, do whatever I'm asked. I'm able to catch the ball if I need to. We have a lot of great running backs who are probably better at catching the ball than me. But if I'm, my number's ever called for that, I'll be ready. Word is, that's going to happen, just so you know. I, I'm not just a, you know, NFL inside. I know some other things, too. Uh, can you also talk about the possibilities uh, for all three running backs flourishing in this offense when you see Dearness Johnson have three 100 you know near 100 plus uh, rushing games last season and two of those starts sorry is there room for all three of you guys and 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 how can all three of you guys flourish in this offense 
Oh, uh, you know, again, that's not. I can't really answer that question. I don't. I, I don't know how what the what what the plan is, but I know we have three great running backs, and if if we can all get on the field, I'm sure we will. Um, and we all can do all, you know, every, all, all things well. And the Ernest is really great. He he showed that he can be a starting running back in the NFL. And so yeah, I mean, I'm, I don't mind sharing it all. See, there you go. All right. And so uh, last couple questions here, just going to someone like Adrian Peterson, who had 2,097 rush yards in 2012, obviously a lot of, you know, backs to share the ball with. But what do you think is uh, even a chance that you could ever approach 2,000, you know, rush plus rushing yards? And is that a personal goal of yours? It's not really a personal goal. I mean, I want to go out there and um, play my best. So whatever that looks like, that's that's fine for me. But, yeah, I mean, I feel, like, I feel like all guys have dreamed of running for 2,000 yards because it barely happens, but it's just such a great, great feeling. So, I mean, if it ever happens one day, I'd be happy, but as long as we're winning games, I'm satisfied. And last thing here, so obviously you've been going viral this off season with these uh, weightlifting, you know, videos that you did. Um, I saw you recently uh, squatted 610 uh, pounds on this tsunami, what, tsunami bar? Tsunami. Okay, tsunami bar that bends and all this other stuff. So uh, can you tell me what is the secret to getting the thunder thighs necessary to do that or get those Mr. Olympia cuts, you know, in your quads like that? Uh, there's no secret, just hard work, you know. You, you can't. Oh, Come on, give us something more than that hard work. That's no secret. You got you got to stick with it. Um, you can't just go in there. I didn't get to go in there one day and squat six ten. You know, it's a process. It took a lot of weeks and months for me to get my body to that to that position. So I mean, that was overall all off season on work put into you know those last two reps before I came back. Can I give you one little tip before you go? What is it? So I noticed that when you were going down and then you came up, you know, you kind of you know pushed your rear back a little bit and I was a little concerned about the pressure on your lower back so you know you know you got to tighten from the front and, and keep underneath the bar so you don't do something to your lumbar spine there just just be careful okay. I guess All right. <laughs> we appreciate your time you know Tar Heels always gonna give some tips for Nick Chubb I'm Josina Anderson back to you guys thank you very much Josina how much can you squat oh you know hundreds you, you have kids so you you can squat I you can I squat try to squat and see what yeah <laughs> But uh, great weightlifting tips there from uh, Jacina. Uh, odds to lead the league in rushing. You see Nick Chubb, plus 850. His over-under number is 1150 and a half. He rushed for over 1,200 last year. Uh, so looking for big things from Nick Chubb. Of course, his best season 2019, uh, just shy of 1,500 yards on the ground. The instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.